Well, Pocatello has a secret that they've kept caged up for too long. An exact replica of the Liberty Bell has been sitting behind a chained link fence in Brady Park since 1977. Well, now a team of volunteers are working to bring it into a more suitable location. Phil Campbell tells us the story of this bell and how Pocatello was able to acquire it. This is as close as many of us will ever come to seeing the Liberty Bell, but unlike the actual Liberty Bell, we'll be able to touch and even ring this one. Built some 200 years after the original was cracked, Pocatello's replica was built to the exact same specifications and in the same foundry as its predecessor. Most people don't know we have it. Most people couldn't believe that we have one made from the same molds. And they don't just, awesome. they don't just cast it to have you look at it. It's tuned. It's musically tuned to a perfect E-flat. Soon this bell will be ringing through the streets of Pocatello again, but in a more appropriate place in front of the federal courthouse. The guys here at Trestlewood say they're proud to be a part of this very special project. I just think that being involved in a way that people are going to be able to touch and feel it and see it and, uh, you know, I think getting it out of the, the enclosure it was in and out in front of the public is going to be a rewarding thing for, for Pocatello and for southeastern Idaho. So. The bell will be placed here at the federal courthouse, where work has already begun on its base. Leonard Jensen, owner of Jensen's Concrete and Construction, has donated countless hours and materials to help bring the bell to the people. You know, we try to help out the community in any way. Um, these are, you know, it's a non-profit uh, involvement to try to move this bell, and, and I'm just thrilled to be involved. Reporting in Pocatello, Phil Campbell, KPVI News 6. So the unveiling of the bell is slated for Saturday, May 7th. Organizers hope to use it to start the annual Law Day run.